Pretty crummy night, huh? My dear little sister, the master of understatement. Well, it's either understatement or hysteria, and I prefer the former. Yeah, I guess I do too. It was too good to be true, wasn't it? Best things in life usually are. The cynicism is not something I need to hear right now. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just upset. Not that you aren't, but when I think about that witch and everything that she's done to us, and now this. Can you do me a favor? What? Tomorrow, we'll build a fire. We'll put Stephanie on a spit and we'll roast her. But tonight, please don't mention her name. I just don't think I can handle it. Why don't you have a drink with us, Dad? No, I don't want to drink. Been one of those days, hasn't it? Yeah. Unnecessarily so. Look, Dad, I know this is not going to be much of a consolation. Oh, you're but... right about that, Thorne. There's nothing you can say to me that would be consolation for what you did today. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Well, you did. And more importantly, you hurt Brooke. The woman I was going to marry tonight. Of course I hurt Brooke. Brooke isn't getting what she so desperately wants, a forester. You ever say words like that again and I'll smack you across this room. Do you understand me? Things are going to get better for you, Brooke. They always do. Pretty soon they're going to have to get better for the two of us, Donna, not just me. Eric is not going to abandon you and your baby. No. He would never do that. But Stephanie's going to do everything in her power to make him abandon us. We're going to have to fight for him, Donna. My baby and I are going to have to fight for Eric. Dad. Dad, let him go. be more wrong about Rook. Am I not entitled to an opinion, Dad? I think this last year speaks for itself. First Ridge, then you, two pregnancies, both resulting in engagements. Now, come on, I'm sorry, Dad. Thorne, I was engaged to Brooke long before she became pregnant. All right, listen to me. And I want you to hear what I say. I love her, and I believe in her. And we would have been married tonight if it weren't for your interference. Well, the last thing on my mind when I told Mother about this was you and Brooke. Then why the hell did you do it? Because she had every right and every reason to know that. Darn, we're separated! We're getting a divorce! She does not have the right to know what's going on in my private life! Do you honestly think that she's better off now having been told? Is she happy? Is she better equipped to go on with her life? Is she more prepared for her future? I don't think so. I think it's just the opposite. I think your mother is more bitter, more entrenched and more intractable than ever. What you did to your mother, my boy, was cause her to regress, plain and simple. You did her no favor. I'm sure she would see it differently. My God, Ridge, do you? 
Do you agree with this? Am I wrong? I would really like to know. I would really like to know because I think I'm right on about this. Look at the risk of copying out here. I can see both of your positions. God, I can't believe that you two don't see that we were better off before your mother knew about Brooke's involvement here. She is threatening to drag this through a public courtroom for the next two years. Do you know what that means? That means the press, the media, it means the tabloids, for crying out loud. I don't have to tell you what that's going to be like. Our lives are going to be laid open, all of our private lives, like some book for every sleazy journalist from here to Milan. You think about that, Thorne. You think about that long and hard. You want to protect your mother? Then you talk to her when she comes through that door and you convince her to stop this nonsense. Because if you don't, I have my ways of stopping her. You're on his side, aren't you? He makes a lot of sense, Thorne. Someday this family is gonna thank me, Rich. The day those two get back together again. And they will. You mark my words, they will. 